Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be proving the result that 0, 1, the open interval with both ends opened, is not homeomorphic to the interval 0, 1, where the 0 interval is closed, but the 1 interval is open. And now, if you're not too sure what I mean by homeomorphic, well, we say that uh, two sets x and y are homeomorphic, so that's what this notation here means, x is homeomorphic to y, if there exists some function f from the set x to y, such that f is a bijection, so that means it's injective and surjective, and f and f inverse are continuous functions. So that's what it means for uh, two sets to be homeomorphic, so we want to prove that these aren't homeomorphic. In other words, there doesn't exist any function f with these properties. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so the way that we're going to prove that 0, 1 is not homeomorphic to 0, 1 is by contradiction. But before I dive into that proof, I will mention that the reason I've defined uh, homeomorphic to be as it was is just because it's kind of simple to do so. We don't need anything advanced or any advanced tools or techniques, but I will mention that you can generalize the definition of what it means for two sets to be homeomorphic. So if you have two sets which aren't necessarily subsets of the real numbers like we have here, you can also say what it means for them to be homeomorphic to one another. Uh, but if you are interested in that, have a look at any text on topology or analytic topology or general topology to be more particular. And with that, I'll also mention that there's lots of ways to prove this, uh, but most of the ways use tools from topology. So you need to know some advanced things about perhaps compactness and things like that or connectedness. But we don't need to do that for this. We can do this using a relatively straightforward proof. And we're going to prove this by contradiction. So suppose for contradiction that they are homeomorphic. So that there is some function f, which is continuous, is bijective and the inverse is also continuous between these two sets from 0, 1 to close 0, open 1. Well then, there exists some point x0 such that f of x0 equals 0, because of course it's an onto map. So f of x0 equals 0. Now, we use the fact that 0, 1, this interval here, is open. So that means we can choose any point that's less than x0, but still bigger than 0, and some point that's bigger than x0, but still less than 1. So choose y and z such that 0 is less than y, is less than x0, is less than z, is less than 1. And we can do this because this interval here is open. In fact, there are infinitely many choices for y and for z. Okay, now what do we notice? Well, we notice that, well, because f of x0 is 0, neither f of y nor f of z can be 0, because otherwise f wouldn't be bijective. Okay, so that means that f of y and f of z both have to be positive, so f of y and f of z have to be positive, and in fact we can say that f of y does not equal f of z, because if f of y equals f of z, again f wouldn't be able to be bijective, because y and z are different numbers, so they can't map to the same thing. So f of y does not equal f of z, um, so without loss of generality, we're going to say f of y is less than f of z. If it's the other way around, you can repeat the argument by swapping the roles of y and z. Okay, so we're assuming f of y is less than f of z, and now what we're going to do is focus on this part of our inequality, x not being less than z. Now, because f is a continuous function, that means we can obtain any real value between f of x naught and f of z. So, uh, in other words, there exists some xi, which is in between x0 and z, such that um, f of xi is equal to, and I can write any number here that's between f of x0 and f of z. But I know f of x0 is 0, and I know that f of y is between 0 and f of z, so I'm going to say f of y here. But now, hopefully you can see the issue. We have that f of xi equals f of y, but since f is bijective, that means that xi must equal y. But this is impossible because up here we've said that y is less than z, uh, sorry, y is less than x naught, but here we have that xi is less than, uh, is bigger than x naught, sorry. So it's not possible for both xi to be equal to y and for this inequality here to be true, and therefore we arrive at our contradiction. And therefore, naught one is not homeomorphic to 0, 1. 
I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you are intrigued by this result, I do encourage you to study things like analysis, topology, or at least have a look into them when you have the opportunity to do so. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.